Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. And also, if you want to get in contact with me to talk about your business, then there's a couple of ways you can do that. If you visit the description below this video, you can either book a free 15 to 20 minute call where we jump on Zoom and I can ask you a couple of questions about your business, see where you are, see where you want to get to. Or if you just want to send me questions, you can do that as well, right? So visit the description below. Let's get connected. Don't stay stuck with your business. So today I want to share with you and I want to talk about how to get your business financially more secure. So a conversation I had a week ago with a coach in soccer, in soccer football, was he he said to me we got on the call i i did my whole process where i asked the coach questions and something he was saying was that leo i'm losing a lot of clients so clients aren't committing clients are leaving me uh, i can't seem to build steady income month after month what can i do Okay, so I want to share with you three things that can help you, right? Like I say to coaches who watch our videos or get on, a, on the call with me, these are things that I, would, I recommend because it's things that the most successful coaches that we work with on a day-to-day -day basis are doing and they have in their business. But you don't have to implement or take away what I'm about to share with you today, Okay. But I want to give you these three tips because I know it's going to help you. These are changes I had to make in my business that helped me more to, to build more financial income and make the business a little bit more financially secure. Okay. Now, the first one is you want to have contracts in place with players and parents. Okay. So essentially, you want to have contracts in place with clients. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down in a step by step. OK, so the first one is contract. But I would say before you even get players and clients on contracts, the, th the first one is we've got to have a strict recruitment process in place. OK, so by strict rep recruitment process is we have to make sure that we're filtering out certain types of families, players and parents that we don't want to work with and that we don't want as clients. So what you need to do is you need to build a perfect client profile of what you want your clients to look like. So what age group do you want to work with? What ability level do you want to work with? Where is that player at? Is he at a club team? Is he not at a club team? Is he on the A team? Is he on the B team? Is he a player that's in the A team but isn't getting enough playing time? Is it a player that lacks confidence and wants to get there? Is it a player that lacks technical ability? Okay, so you have to have a recruitment process in place that's going to help you to filter out certain type of players that then you don't want to work with. Okay, now when we talk about a private football business or a private football training business, it's important to have clients that are committed that want to be there and they're going to stick around in your program for a long time. Okay, You don't want players and parents to come in, be with you for a month and then the next month you've lost that income and that revenue and also then you've got to go and find new clients. Okay, You want to have clients that come in, they stick, they want to be there, they, want to, they, tick, they tick every single box that you have and they want to stay there for the long term right so the first one is the recruitment process make sure that it's strict make sure that we can filter out certain parents the second one is as i mentioned before i was going to put it at, as my number one but i've moved it to the second one now which is contracts and agreements okay so when we talk about contracts is essentially your terms and conditions with the players and parents that you bring in into your program Okay, so what are their expectations as players? Okay, are you expecting 100% effort in every single training session? Uh, are you expecting them to be on time to every session? Do you ha have makeup sessions if you have to cancel? Uh, what's the process if 
parents want to cancel and leave your program? Is it a 30 day cancellation notice? Is it a 14 day? What's that process, right? Your terms and conditions is essentially your contract. Okay. Now, as part of the contract, also you have to state how those parents are paying you. Okay. So if they're paying you month to month, then in the contract, you've got to get them to sign to say, right, I agree to pay Coach Leo on this day every single month, right? So it might be the fifth of the month, it might be at the end of the month, depending on how you want to set it up uh, with your client, but you've got to have contracts in place, right? Now, coaches are scared to do this because they don't want their business to be, you know, they, they're scared that this might put off parents. But essentially, any type of service, right, requires a contract. If you join a gym, Okay, that gym is going to require you to sign an agreement before you join. If you work with an accountant or you're looking for an accountancy service, right, that accountant will get you to sign a contract or a terms and conditions agreement that you, know, you agree to their terms and conditions right? because you're paying for a service and there's expectations from you as the client. You know, if you go for a job, that job has a contract in place okay so everything pretty much has contracts in place so why should your business be any different okay it doesn't have to be an overwhelming over complicated contract but it does have to state what are the terms and conditions what are your expectations and what are the processes that you have in place with your training business okay now something i always encourage coaches to do is make sure that parents sign and agree to those terms and conditions before they do anything else with you okay so you can get them in my business what i do is i send parents over a contract and both the parent and the child both have to sign it that they agree to the terms and conditions if those terms and conditions are broken then they essentially become released from the program okay it saves me a headache and also, you know, it's protection for you because if anything happens, that parent has missed payments, that child is misbehaving, they're not putting effort in or they don't want to be there, you can go back to that contract and say, right, Mrs. Jones, this is what you guys agreed on. Unfortunately, you guys are not, you know, following up on this agreement. So what we're going to have to do is release you guys from the program. OK, so that's just the protection for you and your business. Now, the third one is upfront payments. OK, so upfront payments is probably one of the most secure ways to make sure that you receive all the money upfront for your service. OK, now you can also do subscriptions where it's month to month. But what we are looking to do at our company is we encourage coaches to try and do the upfront payments. Okay? That way you've received all the money which means that the parent has no excuse not turning up week after week. Okay? Also, it's a lot easier for you as a coach to track, right? Because you have to sell certain amount of units per month to make X amount of money. Okay? So whereas a subscription model, okay, it can be secure because you can have a contract in place you can have a subscription, an online subscription where, you know, they're billing, the parent is getting billed on a monthly basis without you doing anything. But there's nothing stopping that parent cancelling that subscription and you not receiving your, your money. Okay. Whereas if parents pay up front, that, pay, that, that, that money is done. Okay. And, you know, you, they, it's up to the parent now and it's up to the, the client to show up and commit to the, to the program okay a lot of coaches say oh but i, I, I don't want to charge parents nine months up front or i don't want to charge parents six months up front okay if your program is a six month commitment then essentially what i would encourage you to do is maybe break it down into two installments so the first installment covers the free the the, the first three months up front and then once you get to the third month Okay, that's an upfront payment for the next three months. Okay, and that way, you know that that parent, that player, is going to be committed for those those 90 days that they're going to be with you. 
Okay, so if you need any help with this, right, some, this is something I work on with coaches every single day when I talk to coaches, I work with coaches, I help coaches with their, essentially with their football training business, okay, making their business more secure financially, okay, so they can make more money um, or essentially work with clients that they want to work with, okay, so if you need more help, visit the description below, in this video you can get in contact with me to book a free 15 to 20 minute call on zoom or if you don't want to do that send me a message to make money coaching sports at gmail.com okay thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one